I finished reading this book a couple of months ago and have been busy procrastinating about reviewing it. I feel I've delayed sufficiently, so here is my review of JavaScript The Good Parts by Douglas Crockford, available from O'Reilly Media. The first thing you will notice about this book is that it is really short. It is 176 pages if you've purchased the Dead Tree version. I have read mine on my iPad in the EPUB format. If you are new to programming, then this book is not for you. Go grab yourself a copy of Headfirst JavaScript instead. Likewise, if you are a um, JavaScript ninja, then you'll find this book rather introductory. However, if you are experienced in programming and new to JavaScript, then you will find this book an excellent introduction. Some people will probably argue that JavaScript has no good parts and is only the vile glue that must be used to make your HTML do Web 2.0 things. This, however, is not the case, and your impression of JavaScript has been somewhat tarred by the dark art that is modern web design, to which this book is not about. It's purely about the JavaScript language, which in itself has its good parts. It has the usual chapter headings, uh, grammar, functions, arrays, objects, um, inheritance, etc., etc., all of which are explained very clearly, all with a bent towards how things should be done rather than how they can be done. There are also a couple of chapters that will be of use to the aforementioned ninja. Um, they are awful parts and bad parts, which explain some things to avoid and give some code examples that really do not do what you'd expect. So, in summary, given my previous qualifications about who the book is for, buy it, read it, and a short read it is, enjoy it. I'm Alistair Christie, thanks for watching.